Hi, today is um, September 28th, 2019, and we had a seminar with Dr. Filippo Carinali about endo from shaping to uh, operation. And after this, we will have a small conversation with him. So, check it out. Hi, good morning. I'm good morning. I'm Rio Sirentoro and good morning everybody. I'm Filippo Cardinali from Italy and it's a big pleasure for me to be here in Indonesia. Also to be here with Rio. Oh, this thank you Rio. very much. The French. <laughs> this is the first, uh, the, the second time I met with Dr. Filippo. Uh, the first time we met in France. In yeah? Paris. Yes. In Paris. Yep. Yeah. Uh, and in Indonesia meeting also held by uh, Micromega. So, uh, I just want to have a brief, uh, short uh, discussion with you. Yeah. Seven minutes, maybe. Uh, uh, well, what do you think the the endo and rubber dam correlations? Okay, uh, rubber dam application is one of my favorite topic. Uh, so I think that the rubber dam is the first step towards excellence in Indonesia, because applying the rubber dam means that you start controlling the infection inside the root canal system. Yes. We know that when it comes about retreatment, in most of retreatment case, we have bacteria inside the root canal yeah. that are not bacteria from uh, that are bacteria from oral mouth that probably were introduced in the endodontic oh. in, the, in the endodontum during the previous root canal treatment. Yes. So using the rubber dam means to prevent this infection. Okay. Using the rubber dam means to increase the quality of the cleaning and the action of the cleaning of the irrigating solution. So according to the American Association of Endodontic statement in 2017, the rubber dam application is now mandatory. It means that now, uh, uh, not now actually, uh, from from the beginning of endo. Well, we have a different uh, indication according with different country yep. and of course if we are looking for increasing success rate in our endodontic treatment of course the infection control is really important yep. and that means that we have to apply the rubber dam. Please consider that we have, there is a huge study that takes into account uh, more than uh, 500,000 uh, endodontic treatment. Yep. And uh, the result is that in the group with the rubber dam, the success rate is higher. So it's just one of the step of the endodontic treatment, but it looks like it's really important to increase the success rate. So before doing any endodontic treatment, we must place the rubber, dam. the rubber dam. Yes, of course. And then uh, even because it's cheaper, it's, it's one cheaper. of the no, 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 <laughs> cheaper no. instrument we have in our yep. practice. Yep, it's cheaper. And then uh, regarding the, the healing of the peripecal uh, pathosis, uh, uh, we have to increase the, the success rate of our endodontic treatment with the activation of the irrigants inside the canals. So, what is the method you're using, uh, and which which method you think the best uh, to activate the canals, and why? So the why I start from the last uh, as well. Why we have to activate is yep. because the shipping time nowadays is so fast that there is not enough time for the our irrigating solution to work properly inside the root canal system. So we have to after the shipping we have to devote time to cleaning, trying to increase the quality. Of the efficiency of the irrigating solution. Of course. Uh, of course, we cannot found in a scientific literature an evidence that there is a system. Okay, selamat uh, siang menjelang sore. Yeah, the so, um, of course, if we look for evidence in literature, it's not possible to find, but we have strong indication from in vitro study that, uh, for example, 
a sonic activation is in any case better than a positive pressure and that ultrasonic activation is even better of sonic and uh, positive pressure in terms of removal of debris and especially in terms of reduction of bacteria inside the root canal system. The, the ultrasonic device, mm. every time I can arrive because the anatomy is uh, make, make possible to arrive deep with the ultrasonic tip, I prefer to use ultrasonic activation. Yep. Uh, with uh, my final protocol are three cycles for each canal of 20, 20 seconds. seconds. 20 seconds each cycle, every time you have to refresh the, the activation. Sodium the, the sodium hypochlorite, sorry, because you know, because of the buffering effect of the dentin, so it's not more active. So, effect. last but not least, how about the magnification in endodontic treatment protocols? What magnification is plays a, a really important role because our practice is uh, vision dependent, yep. so the better I see, the better I can do. <laughs> You cannot, and, uh, you cannot work with what you cannot see. Yeah, yeah right. And uh, for example, uh, working with uh, at least loops with loops. the light is yeah. really important for the end of treatment. And if you have the opportunity to work with a scope, this is probably the best uh, option you have. Scope it's, is important. Yeah, even because when it comes to manage some tricky situation where you are using ultrasonic tips, yeah. remember that you have to see where the tip is working, yes. otherwise you are completely blinded and you risk to create some damage to the endodontic canal. Yes. So, uh, what is the, the recommendation of the magnification in loops? So it loops uh, uh, at least uh, for an endo and uh, four pair, five pair okay. magnification with uh, a light. It's really important, especially in endo. Um, so this is my uh, what I suggest. So what is the the, the uh, microscope you are using right now? I'm using two microscopes. One is uh, the Leica. Like I have a 525 that is a uh, really good microscope. Yes, the of quality course, of the lens is. One of the is, expensive uh, one, you know. Yeah, <laughs> one, the quality of the lens is really high. Yeah. And it's one of the best even for the documentation of clinical case. Okay. And uh, the other one is the Labomet. Labomet, that yeah. That is the quality, the ratio quality price is really good. Yeah. And uh, so you, you can work properly with both. Thank you very much. You're Filippo. welcome. Uh, now you are going to, to have a hands-on video. Thank you okay. very much. See you next time. Uh, See you next time. Thank you very much.